In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this nice trigonometric problem. And I call it trigonometric puzzle because we have to apply logic in finding the solution. All right. I want you to observe that we have two right angle triangles here. The bigger one and the smaller one. All right. So I want us to also pay attention to the interior angles. For the smaller right angle triangle, Observe that we have an angle of alpha here, and for the bigger one, we have an angle of 2 alpha, which is twice this one. Okay, let us take the turn ratio of both angles. For the smaller right angle triangle, if we are to take the turn ratio of that alpha, so we have tan alpha, which is the same thing as opposite divided by the adjacent. And the opposite of that angle is 6 and the adjacent is E. So we are going to take the ratios of 6 and E. That is 6 divided by E. So we have 6 over E. And also, I want us to take the turn ratio of these two alpha for the bigger right angle triangle. So if we take turn of 2 alpha, that will give us the opposite to that angle will be the sum of these two a's, which is going to make it 2a, 2a, divide by the adjacent. The adjacent to that is going to be 6, because remember, this is the hypotenuse. So we have divide by 6. Next, remember we are applying logic here. Let us multiply tan alpha by tan 2 alpha together. Okay, tan alpha multiplied by tan of 2 alpha. It is the same thing as for tan alpha, we have 6 over A. For tan 2 alpha, we have 2A over 6. Observe that A will cancel A, 6 will cancel 6. All we have is 2. And to the left-hand side, we can express it in terms of sine and cos because sine divided by cos will give us tan. So instead of tan alpha, we have sine alpha divided by cos alpha. It is the same thing as tan alpha. Then multiply by tan 2 alpha is sine 2 alpha divided by cos 2 alpha. Remember, this remains 2. Now that we have two double angles, we have this and this. Remember, we can simplify them as follows. So this remains sine alpha divided by cos alpha. But for sine 2 alpha, it is the same thing as 2 sine alpha cos alpha. You can refer back to my uh, video on double angle identity. Then divide by. And for cos 2 alpha, it is the same thing as cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. You can refer back to my video on double angle. Let me even drop the link in the description. And this remain equal to 2. But also remember this identity, sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha is equal to 1. This implies that cos squared alpha, it is equal to 1 minus sine squared alpha. So we can replace 1 minus sine squared alpha with cos squared alpha. So instead of this, we're going to replace it with this. So we have sine alpha divided by cos alpha multiplied by 2 sine alpha cos alpha divided by. If you replace this with that, we are going to get 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha already we have negative sine squared alpha here if this comes we have double that is negative 2 sine squared alpha and the whole of this equal to 2 now let's start our cancellation the whole of this will cancel this right and 2 can go into 2 one time 2 can go into 2 one time so to the right hand side we have only one left all right so we can now write it as sine alpha multiplied by sine alpha, which is just sine squared alpha, divided by 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha. So everything now is written in terms of sine. So 
sine times sine we have sine squared alpha then divide by 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha and the whole of this equal to 1 let us cross multiply here we have the sine squared alpha will be equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha if you multiply 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha by 1 collect the like times take this one backward it becomes positive and sine squared alpha plus 2 sine squared alpha will give us 3 sine squared alpha and this is equal to 1 divide both sides by 3 this implies that sine squared alpha will be equal to 1 divided by 3 this is a very nice point we are going to make use of it later all right let's go back to that diagram again um, i want us to find the cosine of this angle cos of 2 alpha will be equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse remember so katua is very important this is what we are looking for adjacent divided by the hypotenuse and the adjacent to this will be 6 and the hypotenuse will be x so cos 2 alpha will be 6 divided by x so cos 2 alpha will be equal to 6 divided by x here yeah. but remember that cos 2 alpha we have driven that one here it is nothing but 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha so 1 minus 2 sine squared alpha will be equal to 6 divided by x but sine squared alpha is 1 over 3 you can see it here so we have 1 minus 2 then 1 over 3 this is equal to 6 over x and this is 1 minus 2 over 3 equal to 6 over x 1 minus 2 over 3 is the same thing as 1 over 3 so we have 1 over 3 equal to 6 over x we're almost done cross multiply 1 times x is x and 3 times 6 is 18 therefore the value of x is nothing but 18 units and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye